A round of applause for Camilla, everybody. She's now making a second appearance on this channel, which means she's somehow managed to get more tough than using a little brother to promote her only. They just can't help themselves, can they? I wasn't actually going to bother making another video on this woman, but then I saw who her biggest fan was. This is my biggest fan ever, and she has no idea that she's about to be surprised with the best weekend ever. Right, so what are you saying? This five-year-old girl's paid a monthly subscription to see it. Don't think so, do you, Camilla? Like, can we just keep this woman away from any manners if you're just going to keep using them for promotion? Staying at a Disney-themed mansion and going to Disney World. Where are we going? You'll see. You put a seatbelt on. Yeah, because I'm sure the parents are well up for the idea to let the five-year-old girl get blindfolded and thrown in the back of an SUV by an OnlyFans model. Like, imagine finding out your five-year-old child has an OnlyFans subscription. Like, like, what would you do? I got her mom to take her out of school for a surprise, and she literally had no idea what was happening. Does her mom know what you do for a living? Because I'm a bit f***ing confused of why she would take her out of school to then spend time with a self-employed corn star. How do you explain that to the school? Hello? Ah, yeah, just letting you know that Amelia won't be at school today. She's going on a trip to Disneyland with her favourite OnlyFans creator. Like, let's just put the education on pause, her future, to be a part of this bullshit. This house is crazy. It has a movie theatre, an arcade, indoor mini golf, and a princess-themed bedroom. She's going to freak out. Two, one. Oh, my God. Why would a five-year-old be excited to see a f***ing pool table? Look at that. It's a f***ing javelin how's she gonna play i also want to point out how quick her reaction was like it was almost too quick it was pretty much an instant like nothing was processed like soon as she moved her hand she was like oh my god this is great this is but the weekend still wasn't over well yep yeah, weekends tend to last longer than a couple of minutes love she's speaking that they've had a crazy day but they've not actually done anything have they turn around Disney! Right, yeah, because that will be when she realises she's at Disney. Not at the f***ing entrance, where it literally says Disneyland. Or when the employees with way too much f***ing energy are like, Welcome to Disneyland! I wouldn't mind, but she's already wearing the f***ing ears. Like, where did she think she was? Disney! Can you see Elsa? Yeah. Where? Where's Elsa? Is that her? Did the princess stuff just not work out? Subscribe or else I'm not going to take her on any rides. Well, looks like this kid's about to have a very shit time at Disneyland, because there's no f way i'm subscribing to that the worst thing about this right is the pinned comment of this video is literally a pep emoji followed by link in my youtube bio and ig bio like i want to know what person watches that and goes yep i need to see your tits now like you idiot stop paying for corn it's literally free on the internet it's only a taste of like fruity pebbles hey what the fuck is wrong with you never open the door for yourself <laughs> what a gentleman <laughs> Just rip a f nail out. Hey, I'll do it. That's like punching her and going, hey, stop there, I'll get it for you. Did anyone catch what she said, by the way? It's only a taste of like fruity pebbles. One can only assume she's talking about her pit stop for cocks, her pussy. <laughs> did he just say that? Did he just all of a sudden goes, by the way, this tastes like fruity pebbles. If scam was a flavor, that's how I imagine it to taste. We're in fucking public. Yeah, no. Yeah, I and this guy probably never lived to see another day because she looks fuming. Fuck me. You'd think she'd like getting her hair pulled from behind given the type of industry she's in. Imagine he did that. Mid fuck just pulls her hair. Then she turns around and looks at him like that. Oh, God. That would be enough to make any man last longer. You'd probably need a bit of Viagra after seeing that. You'd probably want to finish on her face to cover it up. <laughs> What's the best and worst part about being my brother? The best part? I get to go to Disneyland. You like to take me places, which is really fun. Disneyland? How old is this kid? Like, you know what I mean? Grow the fuck up. That's pretty mad though, isn't it? Knowing that the best part about yourself is the fact you can take him to f***ing Disneyland. Nothing about hair as a person. <laughs> just the fact she can pay for you to go and see a pedo just as Minnie Mouse. And then queue for hours to go on a ride that only lasts for one minute. Which, let's be honest, roller coasters are just glorified trains. If anything, the worst, because you just end up at the place that you started. The worst part? Um... Wait, let me guess. She's a hog? You're just getting way too famous. And Period. Oh, you smug bitch. <laughs> oh, God, nah, I kind of wish that guy did fucking Decker now. I'm just saying, though, Jeffrey Epstein was famous. Don't mean it's a good thing. Like, you're famous for selling titty pics. I wouldn't even say you're famous, to be honest. I guarantee if she leaves America, which she probably thinks is the fucking world, because that's what Americans think, just listen to the way they speak about other countries. Like, they say they're going to Europe. Like, they ain't 44 fucking countries to visit. Like, you know what I mean? Narrow it down a bit. But, like, if she was to visit any one of them 44 countries... No one would know who she is. No one gives a fuck about her. And I've been getting name called a lot more at school. Some random girl said, see you later, Pinky. Pinky? Pinky.
Yeah, but let's not pretend you've not made it ten times worse by actually being a part of the fucking thing yourself. Like, I have a sister, right? And if she started an OnlyFans, which she wouldn't, because my family, you know, have something about them. But if she did, I'd want to distance myself from that as far as humanly possible. Not be a part of the fucking thing, because I get a free trip to Disneyland. Pink. Pink. Well, it's only going up from here, so... Going up from here? Going up where? Up there? <laughs> I'm only gonna become more famous. Yep, we're all having the exact same reaction as you, kid. So I watched this, and I can immediately identify that she's a whore that only cares about fame and money. So, why the fuck would I give her money to see a picture of her naked? I find it hard to watch her with her clothes on. Never mind, with her tits out. Deal with it. Don't be so sensitive, like a little bit. Pinky. <laughs> Shut up. Oh god, I cannot stand this woman. <laughs> she's become more of a bitch since the last time I watched her, which doesn't surprise me because no one's fucking telling her. I see what she's doing. She's going the Jack Daughter route by deliberately pissing people off by acting like, to put it simply, c But I'm saying it now, in a few years' time, these people will be forgotten about. Especially the women, because the only thing that I keep in air about are horny introverts that can't keep the dick out of their hands. I hope her brother sees this video because I'm trying to help him out. Get out of there while she can, mate. Because if you do, that's all you're going to be known as. Hair brother. I'm the first girl in the family to start an OF. Of course they think I'm just a successful woman entrepreneur. There's no way they think that. A successful woman entrepreneur. You see, that word entrepreneur has changed throughout the years. Like, it used to have a value. Like, when I hear entrepreneur, I used to think of, like, a successful businessman that has worked from the ground up and built his own company. But now we've got this. A woman that gets fucked from the ground up. We're not calling OnlyFans creators entrepreneurs. I'm sorry, I'm not having that. That's like calling Jake Paul a professional boxer, like... Come on, it's a bit of a stretch. Like a pussy. I'm the first girl in the family to start an OF. Of course I pay for all their vacations. I literally would not accept it. Imagine though, you're laying on a beach with a cocktail, knowing that the only reason you're there is because your sister sucks cock for a living. <laughs> I just feel as though I'd lose a lot of self pride. I'm the first girl in the family to start an OF. Of course I spend an ungodly amount of money on stupid shit. I'm the first girl in the family to start an OF. Of course my family hates me. I don't think it's just because of that though. It's because you as a person are genuinely unlikable. Like I reckon if that's all you did, I reckon at first I'd be like, what you're doing? But you know, they get used to it. But it's the other bullshit that comes with it. Like getting your little brother on your YouTube channel to ask if it's pink. Like what the fuck is all that about? I'm the first girl in the family to start an OF. I mean, I didn't know that was a thing in the OF community. <laughs> Getting your car wrapped in the same colour as your pussy. Like she says, of course, as if that's an actual thing. So as she gets older, I'm talking like age 60, is she going to get it wrapped in grey? Do you really think I'm not a good sister? Well, it's not that you're not a good sister. Okay, right. Before we listen to a little brother feel sorry for himself, can we address why she's got a camel tone display for him to see? Like, close him up, Camilla. Come on, he doesn't need to see that shit, does he? That's mental. It's just, you got to think that... Your actions don't just have, like, doesn't affect not just only you, but it also affects me. Like, next year, I'm going to be applying for colleges, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that with things that are on the internet. I can't see a college turning you down because people wank to your system, mate. Why the fuck would they give a shit? So what he's basically saying is you can be the smartest fucking person in the world that's achieved the highest grades humanly possible. But sorry, can't accept you. Your sister's a whore. I might not even be able to get a girlfriend because people, like, they already know. Well, you should have thought about that before you agreed to be a part of this shit. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just blame her. Like, they wouldn't notice your sister if you wasn't in the video and still continuing to be in the fucking videos. Um, in public, people ask me, do you really like your sister? Do you really approve of this? Like... Kid, word of advice, right? Tell them to fuck off then. Tell them to get fucked. Who cares? I actually don't think this could work in my future. I... Christian, with everything that I'm doing, like... I've never once wanted it to affect you like this. <laughs> You've got to change that seating position, Camilla. Come on. <laughs> I'm having a hard time trying to focus on what you're saying. Bro, I'm sorry. You're just fucking not, though, are you? <laughs> I really don't want it to affect there's, you. There's nothing else I could say. Like, you f everything up. I'm leaving. Bro. Who reckons that's a lot of bollocks then? Is he fuck going to apply for colleges when he can probably make millions from starting a YouTube channel? You know what I'm saying? Like, just fuck off. Like, he does realise the thing he's complaining about is literally the thing he's partaking in right now. Like, I just hate doing this. I can't do it anymore. Can we please discuss it on the thing that I hate, please? Like, you do see how it's hard to take you serious, right? If you enjoyed this video, click this playlist here. It's full of loads of videos that I've done, so go and check them out. And yeah, I'm gonna go and check up my three-year-old niece just to make sure she's not got an OnlyFans subscription. <laughs> Pretty Pebbles?